What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are keeping safe and healthy. Today I've got some more entitled parent stories for you. So sit back, relax, and let's get straight into them. Where did you learn to speak English? Um, England? This story took place five months ago, so it won't be exactly word for word, but I've remembered enough of the event to recite it. Blah, 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 you've heard it all before. So my stepmom is British, Welsh to be exact. For those who don't know, Wales is the little hump west of England and north of Cornwall. It's a beautiful place known for sheep, alcohol, and mistakes involving sheep and alcohol. Oh, I think the less said about that, the better. My stepmom is ethnically Welsh, but raised in England. Despite this, my nan and tad, Welsh for grandma and grandpa, insisted on her and her brother learning Welsh to preserve their heritage. The Welsh are a proud people, and so they wanted to ensure their children were as immersed as they could be. So she grew up bilingual, went to uni, got a job working for a certain tech giant and moved to the US to help train their staff. A few years later, she met my dad and joined the family. At the time, I was still getting over my mum, so her presence was less than welcome. Despite this, my stepmom never pushed me or tried to buy her way in. She gave me the room I needed to grieve and, when I was ready, showered me with enough affection to make up for the lost time. She has my eternal love and respect for it and has become my second mother. Now, we live in a large town in the Midwest, being west of the seaboard but east of the Mississippi. So while most people are open to outsiders, there's the usual few who just want to ruin everything. Around Christmas time, I was visiting home from college with my girlfriend, Charlie, whose awesomeness has been detailed in another post, enjoying some quality girls' time with my stepmom. We were in the mall, searching for some place that sold plastic modeling glue for my dad. He's really into Warhammer. During this, my stepmom is on the phone with her brother, who still lives in the UK, catching up and sharing some laughs. They were speaking Welsh to each other, which happened to offend a woman who has since earned the title of Karen. We were standing in front of the mall map, trying to find the hobby store when I heard a loud scoff from behind us. I turned to see a woman dressed in a rather nice looking business suit, corralling her kids away like they just encountered a streaker. Now, I was ready to let it go, but Charlie can get very defensive of people she likes, so she ended up calling her out. Something offend you, mom? She seemed to ponder her next move before responding with that oh-so-stupid phrase. You're in America. When you're here, you speak English, not Muslim. My kids don't need to hear that. Now, I've met some pretty stupid people in my life, even dated one, but never ever have I heard of someone confusing Welsh for Arabic, which is what I assume she meant. They're two very different languages from two very different cultures. The only similarities between them is how little I understand them. However, for someone to be so offended by someone speaking another language, they probably also didn't immerse themselves too much in other cultures. To her, the world probably began in New York and ended in Los Angeles. It was at this point that my stepmom hung up. Now, I know that Americans get a bad rep and all, she said in an obvious British accent, but it doesn't help when you actively conform to the stereotype. Oh my god, Karen said with righteous indignation. Your accent is awful. Where did you even learn to speak English? My stepmom held the most deadpan expression she could. England. I swear I could smell the smoke coming from the flaming mess inside Karen's skull. She looked at Charlie and I, a pair of shockingly Caucasian college brats, and then my stepmom, our even paler chaperone, took a moment to process what she was doing and then walked away, dragging a group of embarrassed looking tweens with her. I have to give her credit, at least she knew when to quit. My stepmom chuckled, muttered an offensive sounding Welsh phrase, and then helped us scan the map for the hobby shop. The rest of the day went well, and we had a funny story to tell my dad when we got back. To all my bigots out there who get offended when someone speaks another language, get over yourselves. The world doesn't revolve around you. To all my bilingual friends out there who speak their native tongues, good for you. It's important to keep your culture alive. And to Karen, next time you try to accost someone for speaking something other than English, at least get the right continent. Yeah, I mean, OP, you've just summed that up better than I could ever have hoped to. Uh, thank you for that. The sentence that you can see on screen right now, uh, that did have me chuckling quite a bit. <laughs> if you know about Wales and the uh, the stigmas around around Welsh people, <laughs> they, are, they are obviously false, by the way, but you will understand this sentence on screen. Now, guys, before we move on to our second story, I've got to first give a big thank you to Filmora for sponsoring this video. A lot of you guys ask me all the time what I use to edit my videos, and what I respond with is I use Sony Vegas, but it looks like this. You know, 
it's very complicated software. I certainly didn't use it when it started out on YouTube, and I imagine it looks kind of daunting to someone that has never edited before. But that is where Filmora comes in, helping you make videos as easily as possible. It is so simple. Let me jump in and show you. So this is Filmora 9, and it's so easy and fun to start making videos. As you can see, all you got to do is import some files, then put them on the timeline, chop them up, add some transitions. It's that easy. To be honest, a lot of the transitions that you get on Filmora are way higher level than the ones that I use. I might have to change my software. Another great thing about Filmora is that it has a built-in screen recorder. So if you are making gaming videos, something like that, it's all in one place, super easy. And also, if you do need any help, any tutorials, it's all on their website. They have really simple videos like this one I'm showing on screen right now. Just make it so straightforward. Guys, I know a lot of you are in lockdown like me right now. With a lot of time, maybe you're quite bored. Uh, if you ever wanted to try video editing, now is the best time and this is the easiest way. You can go and download the free trial right now for absolutely nothing. No information required. Just go and check it out. The link is in the pinned comment and in the description. With that being said, thank you again to Filmora and let's get on with the rest of the video. Entitled mum refuses to wear face mask. Cops get called and Karen goes insane. Hello and welcome. Little backstory. The state I live in, our lovely governor said that if you leave your house and go anywhere, you must wear a face mask unless you cannot for medical reasons. So if you go into any gas station, grocery store, hospital, etc., you have to have a mask. Unless, again, medical reasoning that we are not allowed to press. Now, I was covering the lobby shift while the kid was going on break and I had to make it known, even with the two signs in front of the door saying masks are required and the four signs on the doors in the lobby. So I was covering when I see Karen and her four crotch goblins getting out of her minivan. None of them have face masks and since I'm not a confrontational person, I'm already dreading having to tell her she can't shop. Her kids, by the way, are all between the age of 18 and 14 or so. Karen comes in and grabs a cart and does the whole fake smile thing at me because she thinks I'm not going to say or do anything, but I do. I tell her, nicely, that due to state law, she and all her children must have face masks or coverings. Karen was not having it. She went on and on about how our governor is a POS and that he's breaking one of the amendments and her religious rights. And I told her, I'm sorry, but we cannot allow her or her kids to shop in the store. And she just pushes past me with her kids hot on her heels. So I do what the paper tells me to do. I tell my manager who went to tell Karen her family needs masks and that all her kids shouldn't be shopping with her because it helps decrease the amount of people that could get infected and spread the disease. Now, Karen tells him she can't leave her kids out in the car or at home because she doesn't have a babysitter. Note that I said one of the kids was about 14, so old enough to watch the others, you would think. My manager tells her that he is going to have to call the cops since she's breaking the law of no face masks. Karen just rolls her eyes and says, yeah, okay, call them, as if we are bluffing. We were not. The cops show up and they are kindly escorted to Karen and her family. I can hear her screaming. She has every right to be in this store without a mask and we have to take her since she's already in the store. The police are trying to explain to her that she cannot be in the store, that it is a state law and she is going to be removed. Her kids are beyond embarrassed and they all go to leave the store to head back to the car, but Karen won't. She begins going on some type of BS that we are now discriminating against her and she pulls her phone out and begins recording. I really dislike it when people pull out their phones and record when the police are around. Just because the police are doing something that is forcing you to change or your, your general action, it doesn't mean they're doing something wrong. They're allowed to do that. Of course, if they're acting legally, of course, I must say that. She is making sure that Officer A and Officer B's names are being shouted along with the name of the store for being racist against her and her family. Both cops, myself, my manager, Karen, and all her kids are Caucasian, so who the F knows why she's putting the race card? Well, I'll tell you just because she can. After a ton of screaming, shouting, and embarrassment, Karen is escorted out where all her kids are waiting for her to unlock the car and go home. But again, Karen isn't done. Oh no, she's shouting at everyone that comes into the store that we're all racist POSs and that we are going to hear from her lawyer, blah, blah, blah. Right before the cops left, I saw her being put in one of the cars with the cop while the others stayed with the kids. I assume they were waiting for a family member to pick them up. But yeah, Karen just went absolutely crazy over the law. All I can really say is stay safe, guys. Yeah, Karen, I'm sorry, but it doesn't really matter what you think about this. If there is a law, you kind of have to abide by it. That is that is the law. I also don't understand why the Karen wouldn't want to, to wear a face mask. It's helping people to stay safe. It's helping you stay safe. What's wrong with it? I know what it must be. Perhaps Karen hasn't found an amazing design on a face mask like the one on screen right now, which would solve all her problems. Guys, if you haven't seen my face mask before, I announced it a couple of days ago now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing, I would say, and all the profits raised 
raise go to charity. Alongside that, for every one of these face masks purchased, another one will be donated to a medical professional to help them on the front line. So that's it really. The links for the face mask will be in the description and the pinned comment, as will the links for Filmora, the amazingly easy software to help you create videos today. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. A couple of very interesting stories, quite different but very enjoyable. I want to say again a massive thank you to Filmora for sponsoring this video. Guys, as you know, sponsors only really work if you guys go and then support the brand. This editing software is one that I have tried myself and I cannot endorse it enough. It is just so easy. Honestly, parts of it put my very expensive editing software to shame. So yeah, guys, go and check it out. Link is in the description. With that all being said, I will see you tomorrow for a brand new upload. Same time, same place. So make sure you've got your notifications on. A lot of you don't. And you know what? Analytics tells me that. So, so put them on if you haven't done already.